Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add the custom CSS in PrestaShop in 2024. So today we're going to show you how to add your custom CSS in your PrestaShop. Of course, custom CSS will allow you to personalize the look and even the feel of your website beyond the default theme settings. So it's a powerful way to make your store stand out and look fresh. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this simple video and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and access your back office. Of course, first of all, I'm going to open a browser if you don't have if you have one uh, then go of course you probably have one then go to the CRL section just say prestashop.com and here make sure of course to click on get started if you still don't have it downloaded choose the free download if you want the free of course you can go with the hosted uh, with the better plan and make sure to uh, go simply and download it of course so i'll just fill up this with something like that and here, of course, make sure to download it and go through the steps to install it, then configure it, then personalize it, of course. So you can, first of all, start using PrestaShop if you are a total beginner and you don't have it yet. Of course, if you want to install it here, you'll need to go with one of their like uh, hosting things, like hosting partners, which is one of those three. There's the PrestaShop hosting, this one, and the hostinger. As you can see, the services and features that comes with us here on the right. If you don't want to, you can host it on your local host. How to do it, basically, I've already made a video about this, but if you care, so you just open your uh, new tab and simply just type in install, as an example, PrestaShop on a local host. Then click on the first link. And once you do so, basically just follow these steps right here, as you can see. So basically you will have to go and install a, like a server called the map, a map, which you can use it for free. Uh, choose the settings that they're telling you, install the PrestaShop on GitHub, a version on GitHub, then simply create a folder on a specific uh, place that they will tell you, paste uh, things on the zip file in there, and start your servers, go open a new tab, type localhost slash the name of the folder that you created, set up your store, and basically you just follow those all steps here and you will be good to go. You'll have access to everything, even the back office that we want to so we have here as you can see front office and back office so for us we would like to go and manage your store from the back office and from there as an example you will be able to start using uh, or uh, go and add your custom css code in there so once you access your back office so as an example just access another article so for example uh, add css or custom so custom CSS code on uh, Presta shop as an example, as simple as that. So Presta shop and hit the enter button. For example, yeah, there is like an article by Presta shop. You can go and access. There is a lot of videos here, even how to add it. As an example, so a lot of things that you can add, even some on some specific versions. So here is an example posted on March. As you can see, the model saves data and database without creating additional files. For example, here there's some versions to add a break line in a things. Example, so yeah, it seems like there is just someone who has a problem. As example, and people here answering it. So that's not basically an article, but people, as you can see here, are telling them how to add it. So the model was just an example on this, and however, I added to change JavaScript, check if it's okay. As example, and things here, how to, they showed him as example how to have access to CSS and add their custom code. As example, they even give him the zip file to download, simply implement it in your Presta, and you should be good to go. So the first first one, second one the same, third one the same. So basically, just go through that. There's even some YouTube videos on how to add your custom CSS code for me. Of course, I'll not go through this videos because of copyright op uh, problems. But as you can see here, once you have access to your local host, as an example, and you go to the back uh, office and simply here they will show you how to probably add your custom CSS code. So you'll have to go exactly where you want to add your custom CSS code as an example, then go into the CSS and simply you'll have to go and create a new file called custom CSS. Of course, this you'll be able to do it on uh, like uh, Visual Code Studio. So simply just go and do that. After that, as you can see here, you'll be able to clear the cache if you want to and refresh the page and you will find your final results right there once you add, of course, your CSS custom code. So 
all of that, of course, you'll be able to do it if you have this like installed, the uh, PrestaShop is installed in your local host, especially if you're looking for something totally free. If you're looking for something like paid, you can simply just go uh, with one of the hosting providers that they have or partners that they have, and you can simply install it there and you'll be able to have your PrestaShop right there. So as I said, uh, just go and follow this step. Basically, you'll have to access, as we said before, your back office, then locate the additional CSS section uh, of course, uh, you will like see a section labeled custom CSS and this is where you will uh, add your custom CSS code. Of course, you'll find that normally in themes and logo section and you'll find various options to customize your theme. Scroll down to the find advanced settings tab, click on it and expand it and you will see a section labeled custom CSS. So that's what, what you access your, uh, one, once you access your back office because on back office, you can navigate into design. Uh, from the left hand menu in the design you, you'll find theme and logo and then you'll find the custom css and their themes then now it's time to add your custom code as an example css section and you can write or pass your css code directly for example if you want to change the background color on your header you can add like a css rule like uh, uh, of course like i'll need to open the visual code studio to show you exactly how exactly how so uh, this is like a, i will just open here a new file and the name I'll, I'll just name it tests dot css as an example of course i'll have to save it somewhere so no need to save it of course of course i'll just need i don't need to even have it as css i'll just open a text file to show you like exactly what you'll have to type so basically it's going to be like header and of course on the header uh, so you'll need to have like here a background uh, the dash of course color so sorry so color and of course here you can add your uh, the color of the background that you want as an example i'll just put here random numbers which will mean some color of course and as an example this will change like the color of the background of your header and you can add simply uh, or change the color depending on whatever you want of course an example you can simply just copy that go back here so uh, what color is this so what color is uh, that an example simply enter that here so an example it's light orange of course you can change it to whatever you want or you can simply look for uh, color things to get the exact things and change the color do a lot of things depending on this ss code that you want of course if you don't know how to use css you can simply use chat gpt which will help you through that just type whatever you want and they will give you the code right away so this is going to be it for me today thank you for watching and goodbye